Something's missing. What about the soul? <laughs> if you believe that there's a hell, I don't know if you're into that, but we're, we're already pretty much going there, right? But I'm not gonna lie down until I get there. Hey everybody and thank you for watching another video. My name is Merge and one of the biggest mysteries in Breaking Bad to me has always been Grey Matter and what really happened between Elliot Gretchen and Walter. And throughout Breaking Bad and even in the finale of Better Call Saul, we know from Walter's point of view that him selling his share of the company was one of his biggest regrets in life. But what would have caused him to sell his share of a potential multi-billion dollar research company? Greed? Love? Hate? I'll give you a hint. But no! You just had to blow it up! You! and your pride and your ego. And that same pride and ego was the catalyst for Walter's life turning out the way it did, starting all the way back to when him and Elliot were just grad students trying to get their company off the ground. And even though the reason for Walter selling his share was for personal reasons, I've done a little research that I believe can fill in the blanks of what really happened between the old colleagues, and even theorize on what could have happened if Walter took Elliot's offer to come work for him at Grey Matter. So this video will be a what if as well as a new segment that I'm introducing called What Happened, basically telling the backstory of certain people and places that tie into the universe of Breaking Bad. And we all can just imagine for a moment what a Grey Matter prequel series would actually feel like. And if you could leave a like on this video to support the channel, I'd appreciate it. Now in order for us to understand Grey Matter, we have to first go back to the beginning, way before the events of the series. Back to the college years of Walter White and Elliot Schwartz. And while attending the California Institute of Technology, or Caltech, the two worked on their thesis together and even collaborated on the scientific research that led them to being awarded the Nobel Prize. And after graduation, the two decided to form their own scientific research company, naming it Grey Matter Technologies after their two last names combined. And fun fact, the name Schwartz means black in German, which answers the age-old question for me as to how they got gray from Schwartz and white. So, yeah. But in the early days of Grey Matter, it had a slow start with only a few patents pending in the beginning, and at the same time, Walter also began dating a female lab assistant named Gretchen, and together they all work as co-founders of the company, knowing their potential. And Walter and Gretchen would fall deeply in love, even getting engaged at one point. And everything was going great, all the way up until one weekend where Walter met Gretchen's family for the first time. And seeing her family's wealth and status made Walter feel inferior. And that same weekend, Walter chose to cut the vacation short by breaking up with Gretchen without so much as even an explanation. And not too much longer after that, Walter chose to sell his share of the company, deeming it personal reasons, but we all know why. And then somewhere down the line, he met Skylar, Ellie ended up marrying Gretchen, and somehow they all remained friends throughout the years. Distant, but friends nonetheless. But according to Walter White, they cut him out. And Elliot cut me out. And after knowing their history and then rewatching this scene, it does add an extra layer of depth to their conversation. Especially with Gretchen, you can genuinely feel the weight of her confusion and how she has so many emotions bottled up and only for a moment loses her composure after not being able to handle Walt's lies. Which, fair enough, because if you put yourself in Gretchen's shoes, it really doesn't make sense what Walter's doing. And the fact that he wants her to keep his secrets and he couldn't even give her anything to explain his actions, not even a lie, which, come on Walter, you lied to Skylar for less. So I'm standing there filling up like I've done a thousand times before, and I hear a chunk, you know, the, the pump's nozzle, the, the metal thing, the thing you squeeze, right? I hear a chunk. So I, I... But because of that decision he made during this conversation to be an asshole, it led him down the self-destructive path that we all know from Better Call Saul as Bad Choice Road. And that's all there really is to say about what happened with Grey Matter Technologies. Gretchen and Elliot never stole anything from Walter or cut him out of the company. He left completely on his own. And the fact that they were still willing to help him after he basically sold them out says a lot about their generosity and friendship and how they were able to move on. But Walter, he just never did. But what if Walter was able to swallow his pride when he was offered the job at Grey Matter during Elliot's party, and not only did he decide to take the job, but he also took them up on him covering his treatment? How would that change the Breaking Bad universe? Well, let's find out. Walter and Elliot are catching up talking about the good old days when Elliot expresses that he misses their, for lack of a better word, chemistry. And he floats the idea of him coming to work for him at Grey Matter. And Walter at first would hesitantly decline the offer before telling his old friend about his cancer. And Elliot expresses concern for Walter and flat out offers to pay for his treatment, saying, Walt, I'm making this offer to you purely out of respect. I don't want you to consider this charity. After all, this company belongs to you too, so what do you say? And Elliot chooses his words very carefully, knowing all too well about Walt's ego. Well, Elliot, that's a very tempting offer, but but I'd have to get my affairs with the school in order first before I- Anytime you're ready, Walt, you'll have your own office, your own lab, and even a company car. Elliot says cutting off Walter while also making that offer much more tempting. And Walter looks at Elliot for a second considering the offer before taking a sip of his champagne, then saying, You drive a hard bargain, Elliot. 
I'll take it. And the two smile having another toast before making the announcement at the party. And nobody is happier than Skylar after hearing that news because with that comes more money, less stress, and even a chance for Walter to actually beat his cancer. And as they're on their way home, Skylar does the majority of the talking being overly excited for Walter's new job. While he just reflects on the past few weeks when he made the unsuccessful attempt at being a meth cook that resulted in him killing two people, Emilio and Crazy A, a secret that he'll take with him to the grave. But as far as Mike, Gus, and the cartel, their paths will never cross. And him and Jesse's partnership essentially ended when Jesse wanted to debrief. I thought we could debrief. Debrief? So when Walter begins his new career at Great Matter Technology as a head chemist of the pharmaceutical division, he is just in his element, impressing both Gretchen and Elliot with his many breakthroughs in his short time being there. And maybe six months later, Walter is in way better health with his cancer being in remission and his relationship with Gretchen and Elliot is almost back to where it once was, and even secretly rekindling his relationship with Gretchen beginning an affair between the two former lovers. And after Walter's surgery, Skylar acts on her suspicions, calling and confronting Gretchen about what's really going on between her and Walter. Who am I having? an affair with Gretchen Schwartz and once the truth got revealed both Skylar and Elliot get divorces from their cheating counterparts and the divorce between Gretchen and Elliot results in the fall of Grey Matter and boiling down to an intense court battle where Walter and Gretchen enlist the legal counsel of Saul Goodman hearing from multiple sources that even though he's flashy and over the top he's the perfect guy for the job and being that money is not an issue with Gretchen she pays his $80,000 retainer and he represents both of them during the legal and divorce proceedings and Saul did not disappoint managing to even convince the jury of intellectual property theft and the wrongful termination of Walter White and coming up with the deal that puts Walter back as co-founder of Grey Matter and Elliot is forced out of the company, allowing for the newly appointed power couple to run the business. And as far as Walter and Skyler, they get joint custody of the kids, but Walter Jr. will always resent him for betraying his mom. But regardless of the feelings of his kids or anyone else, Walter would continue to provide all the way up into his last days. And one night, Walter falls asleep and he just never wakes up. Not due to a bullet or a bomb, but because his cancer got the better of him. But while working at Grey Matter, Walter was able to ensure that his family would be taken care of after he's gone by having Walter Jr. and Holly in his will to receive upwards of $11 million in a trust when they each turn 18. So in the end, Walter did exactly what he set out to do provide for his family. And if I were to imagine what Jesse would be doing at this time, I'd say some on and off cooking, but eventually he'd get caught by Hank. Gus and Mike, they'd have that lab up and running with Gail as their lead cook, making as much money as they could ever need with nothing getting in their way this time. And that would be the legacy that Walter White leaves behind. Not one of drugs and murder, but one of murder and drugs at first, but primarily infidelity. And maybe in the end, Elliot might get with Skyler to complete this weird circle of betrayal that they have going on, but that's just me. And let's just get this out of the way right now because I know it's gonna come up in the comments. What if Walter never sold his share of the company? And if that were to happen, there would be no Skyler, no Saul, no Jesse, basically no connection to the original. But what I think would be a better idea if we got a prequel series exploring the early days of Grey Matter, dealing with a younger Walter White and seeing where it all happened and how it all fell apart for him but hey a man could dream hey guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and if you haven't checked out my other videos clicking either video here will get you all caught up on what i'm dubbing as the heisenverse until next time my name is merge later